What's up, everybody? Jacob here, JK Productions. The playoff field is now set, so we now know who is in. This is my list of who are the best teams in the playoffs, and just in case you disagree, just remember, shut up, it is my list. So as I do with my normal top 10 rankings, I'm gonna have them on screen as I go through them, but four teams I'm not gonna have shown 11 through 14 out just outside of my top 10. Starting with number 14, the Seattle Seahawks, 13 Minnesota Vikings, then the Baltimore Ravens, and then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just missed the cut, all for different reasons. Seattle's very young. I'm not sure if they quite have enough Minnesota Vikings. We've seen how much they've choked all year long. I wouldn't be surprised if they're a, a one-and-done team, even as a division winner. Baltimore Ravens, the, the reliability of whether Lamar Jackson's going to be able to play or not, that's very much up in the air, and they're a very one-dimensional football team in that sense. And then Tampa Bay. I haven't got it clicking all year long. They have Tom Brady. So if they if they had any other quarterback than Tom Brady, honestly, they'd probably be last on this list. But Tom Brady elevates them at least a few spots. Starting off number 10, we have the Dallas Cowboys. That was flat out embarrassing how they lost that last game of the season yesterday against Washington. 26-6, to another bad performance by Dak Prescott. And I really wonder what they're going to do when it comes to the playoffs. Of all the teams you see here on this list, they definitely have the worst head coach I'd argue they also have the worst quarterback. They have an aging Ezekiel Elliott who is getting less and less reliable. They need to go to Tony Pollard more, but that usually doesn't start until the second quarter. Outside of CeeDee Lamb, not a really reliable wide receiver. And the, the defense is very good, but when you get to the playoffs and you're playing these great teams, you have to be able to compete on the offensive side of things. I just don't know how the Dallas Cowboys stack up with the other teams. Number nine, now this is reliance on their starting quarterback being back, but then at number nine, I have Miami Dolphins. If Tua comes back, I like this team a lot more than what we saw with Skylar Thompson and Teddy Bridgewater over the last couple of weeks. Uh, Tua, if nothing else, has played very well against the Buffalo Bills and handled himself very well up in Buffalo. This team still has Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle. The rushing attack was finally there yesterday against the New York Jets. The defense has been shaky all year long and that performed very well yesterday against the Jets. So if the defense and the rushing attack can stay consistent how they played yesterday and Tua comes back and plays close to what he was playing when he was playing good, I think the Miami Dolphins are the ninth best team in the playoffs. Followed by a team number eight that it did take me a while to come around to, but the New York Giants, they just have a good way of winning football. Brian Dable doesn't ask a lot out of this offense and uh, Brandon Jones, Daniel Jones, he has a lot of tools that can make him a successful quarterback. He's athletic, he's tall, he's got a good arm, he can move. I like the New York Giants to win in their opening round matchup in Minnesota, and this team can go far. I don't think they have quite enough to make it to probably to the Super Bowl, but this is a team that can that knows how to win even though they don't really have a lot of experience. Ryan Dable's really installed a culture overnight. This defense is playing great. The rushing attack, Saquon has been playing good. He's been staying upright, hasn't gotten hurt this year, thankfully, for the Giants. The Giants can surprise some people. They have some tools to win. They're not going to wow you with their skill positions outside of Saquon Barkley, but they just are finding a way to win games as the year goes on. Number seven, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. This is a team that's now affected by a really big injury. Mike Williams getting stretched off yesterday. His availability is unknown at the time of recording this. So if when I'm done recording this, something comes out about him, I'm sorry. I didn't know. But as of now, it's not looking good for him. And this is a, an inexperienced Chargers team. I don't like Brandon Staley as a coach. He's neck and neck to me with Mike McCarthy as the worst head coaches probably in the playoffs as a whole. I, I don't, I don't, I can't trust them yet. I can't trust them until I see them win a playoff game. I can't trust Justin Herbert as much as I would like to. I'm a huge Justin Herbert fan, but I need to know that he can carry this team into the playoffs and, and win a game. They fell just short last year when all the pressure was on for them to win a playoff game It was or get into the playoffs. It was basically a playoff game, about that, that game last year against Las Vegas Raiders. Now, an actual playoff game. I'm interested to see how he performs and his Chargers team performs potentially without Mike Williams. Number six, a team that just keeps finding ways to win, the Jacksonville Jaguars. It was not a pretty game by any means against Tennessee on Saturday night. Really wish that game was a Sunday night game, but oh well, it is what it is. They're just finding ways to win games. It, it was not pretty. It was not sexy. Trevor Lawrence had actually a pretty bad game, relatively speaking, but again, they're just finding ways to win ball games. And they've been pretty much playing a, a playoff game for the last half of the season. Every game was a must win, and they've gotten themselves to their division crown and are going back to the playoffs. I love Trevor Lawrence. I love Doug Peterson. I don't love the rushing attack where they have like 19 yards total against Tennessee, a not very good Tennessee defense. I, that does scare me, 
But again, they're just finding ways to win football games. Trevor Lawrence has been one of the best quarterbacks in all football the second half of the season. I love him. I love the talent they have on this roster. A very talented offense. I trust them to win against the Chargers, but I mean, I have them neck and neck. Either of those teams, two teams can win, and it's crazy that that might be the best playoff matchup of the week. Number five, a team I've really had fall down my rankings, that being the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, last week, I didn't make a power ranking because the DeMar Hamlin situation. I didn't really want to make any football content as for one bad touch and two, just... I, it just it, it didn't feel right, and we also didn't know a few of the teams where they would lie, but the Eagles, I probably would have had them down to five last week as well. They won their game against the New York Giants, but they miss the, the wow factor has been slowly drifting away from this team. They lose two games in a row with Gardner Minshew. And now it comes to the playoffs and a similar situation to the Chargers. We haven't seen the Eagles have success with this collective group of guys when it comes to the playoffs. They look got pretty much got embarrassed last year against the who was that, Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the first round of the playoffs. And now it's time to figure out who they are. I trust every team ahead of them significantly more than I trust them. They have a lot of talent, great offense, great defense. Everything, all the all the boxes are checked in terms of regular season success. Now, can they transfer that into the postseason? We'll see. Number four, the Buffalo Bills, a team that second half of the season has been rushing the ball a little bit better. I've really wanted them to see to stop, wanted to see them stop relying on Josh Allen so much, just running the ball. He's he's really young still, so he can we can get away with it. The the Buffalo Bills can get away with it. But this isn't going to last forever where you can just have Josh Allen throw his body at the other teams, and that works as a running game. Now, we've seen James Cook finally come around. Devin Singletary had a big fumble yesterday, so we'll see how much they trust him in a big uh, wild card matchup against the Dolphins. But, again, a team with Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, a great defense on the other side. This is one of the, one of the few teams I think can win the Super Bowl. The Bills and up from here are four teams I all think can win the Super Bowl. Very talented rosters, great offenses, and great defenses on the other side of the ball. Number three, just slightly, just slightly, the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs locked up the number one seed against the Las Vegas Raiders on Saturday. And Patrick Mahomes has been getting it done without Tyreek Hill. We were questioning how he would do that. And guess what? He's just gone on and probably going to win the MVP award. He's been absolutely incredible. Another 5,000-yard season for him. Another number one seed for him. Another bye for him. I don't know how you can beat this team in the AFC. There's some very good teams in there. It's going to be one of them, the Buffalo Bills, or my very next team, probably representing the AFC, but three incredible teams that are really hard to pick between. But to just slightly, I do have the Cincinnati Bengals, the wide receiver trio of Tyler Boyd, Jamar Chase, and T. Higgins is really what puts it over there for me. Joe Mixon, they haven't had a lot of great games out of him this year, but he can get it going at any moment. This offense as a whole is what separates them for me over the Chiefs, over the Buffalo Bills. They've already beaten the Chiefs this year. Who knows what will happen that game against the Buffalo Bills. I think this is a, there's a good chance this team makes another Super Bowl run. Zach Taylor is continuing to prove he's the right guy at head coach. Joe Burrow is proving everybody right. Had him number one overall pick. Then how he all the success he had last year. It was not just a fluke. This is a great team. They can get it done on both sides of the ball. Lyle Collins being done does concern me a little bit about then be able to keep Joe Burrow upright. But again, nothing real, not, nothing too significant separates those three teams. Great offenses, great quarterbacks, reliable head coaches. Bengals, not probably of the three, the weaker of the three defenses, but all three defenses you at the very least rely on. Any one of these teams can represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. And then finally, a team that I've been higher on than seemingly everybody in spite of their issues at quarterback, the San Francisco 49ers. Brock Purdy is still undefeated as a starting quarterback for San Francisco 49ers. It's kind of getting stale how easily they're beating teams. Nobody really has been even able to compete recently with the San Francisco 49ers. They have the best defense in the NFL, in my opinion. Pro bowlers all around. One of the best secondaries, the single best linebacking core, and then you have Bosa on the line, as well as other great players on that defensive line. And the other side of the ball, they have stud playmakers. Even though Brock Purdy, yeah, not ideal quarterback, it hasn't mattered. He's gotten the job done. He's done exactly what Jimmy G would be doing in this offense right now. Getting the ball to Christian McCaffrey, getting the ball to Debo, getting the ball to IU, getting the ball to George Kittle finally stopped using as a glorified fullback. This team is can beat you in every way imaginable. Even the kicking game, Robbie Gold is one of the most reliable kickers since he's entered the league. 
I don't see any flaws on this team, and especially with how Brock Purdy's playing. I think the 49ers are going to go out and win the Super Bowl. Right now, they are my prediction to win the Super Bowl. We'll see how the playoffs play out. Uh, this is not an official declaration, I, but just looking at this list, I don't see anybody being able to beat the 49ers this year. They are the best team in the playoffs for me. So those were my rankings of all 14 playoff teams. Was your team in there? What do you think? What do you think of my list? Shut up. It is my list at the end of the day. But please, let me know down below. What do you think? Uh, how do you think the playoffs are going to play out? Who are the favorites? Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody.